Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Today I'm going to show you four different ways to save a web page that you might want to come back to later. The first is to save it as a bookmark. Let's say you're planning a Hawaiian vacation and you know you're going to be frequently returning to this Natural Wonders of Maui page. You can create a bookmark for this page by going up to the Safari Bookmarks menu and choosing Add Bookmark. You can change the name if you like and then click the Add button. Later, when you want to return to this page, you can just find it up here in your bookmarks menu. See, there it is. I've actually added it twice here. If you want to learn more about how to organize and use your bookmarks, check out my bookmarks video. Now let me move on to more methods. Let's say you're on a page, let's go to the Hana Maui page. And let's say this isn't something you want to bookmark, but you don't have time to read it now, so you'd like a nice little to-do list to store this. Well, that's what Safari's reading list is for. Also under the bookmarks menu is add to reading list. So let me add that one. And you'll see it had this animation of something going over to the glasses icon. The glasses icon is to show the reading list. And if you don't have this bookmarks bar showing, you can always go up to view and show reading list. And what that does is it opens up a pane on the left side with all the pages that you've added to your reading list. So what's nice about this is, for one, it keeps track of which ones you've read. And also, when you're done with it, you can easily delete it by just clicking on the X here. If you want to learn more about the reading list, which there's lots to know about that, check out my reading list video. So let me click here to turn that off again. Now let me show you a method that's a little less common, but still pretty handy. Let's say you've created a folder. Like here, I've created a Hawaii vacation folder. And I'm using this to store everything about my plans for this vacation. I've got a spreadsheet of estimating costs, and I've got some images in there so far. OK, I'll close that again. So now, let's say I want to save my uh, favorite dive operator in Maui. I want to save his website over in this folder. I don't want to make a bookmark for it. I want it nicely organized in that folder with all my other stuff. All I have to do is drag the icon next to the address and go drop it in that folder. And I can even do this with links right on a page. Here's my favorite dive ever. It's a night dive with some manta rays. I can just click, hold, and drag that link right off the page and drop it in there. Now if I open up this folder, you'll see I've added these two new items, and those are links to those two web pages. If I double click on one, it takes me right back, or it takes me to that web page. Now, all three of those methods, the bookmarks, the reading list, or creating uh, links on your hard drive like this, they all just save a link to a page. But now let's say you want to actually save the contents of a page. Um, one reason you'd want to do this is the page changes frequently and you want to capture how it looks right now. Or let's say you want to view it later when you don't have an internet connection. Well, the answer to that is up in the File menu. Just choose Save As, and make sure you change the format to Web Archive. Um, if you leave it as Page Source, it will, won't get the images and other parts of the page. But if you choose Web Archive, it will capture everything about that page, including the images and everything else. So I'll click Save. And now you'll see that shows up over here. And you can even see the little icon it gives is more colorful because it knows everything about that page, whereas this is just a link to the page. So if I lost my internet connection, I could still double click on this and it would open up my personal copy of that page that's sitting on my hard drive. You can even see, if you ever notice the address, it starts with file. 
instead of the usual HTTP. So there are four ways of saving a web page that will let you go back to it later. You've got your bookmarks, you've got your reading list, and you've got links that you can save on your hard drive or web archives that you can save on your hard drive. Each has its pros and cons, so just play around with all four so you'll be ready to choose the best one when you're planning a trip like this.